At Beko, we produce some of the most technically advanced products in the world. And all of our innovations are driven by a common purpose, the wellness of our customers and the wellness of our planet. Beko. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the NKBA Live Webinar Series as we get ready for KBiz 2023. Today, we're going to cover KBiz Insights, which is an insider's guide to how you can get the most out of attending the show. My name is Justin Reinke. I'm Vice President of Marketing at Beko. And at Beko, we're excited to be the sponsor of this NKBA webinar series. At Beko, we believe that healthy living is really only possible on a healthy planet. And our booth at KBiz is going to help us tell that story. We'll showcase our innovative new products, and we'll show how those products support a healthy, sustainable future. So please be sure to come by and say hello during KBiz. I'd love to personally show each of you uh, the booth and, and share that Beko story with you. Now, to tell you more about KBiz Insights and how you can get the most out of the show, it's my pleasure to introduce NKBA's EVP and Chief Strategy Officer, Susie Wilford. Thank you and see everybody in January. Hello everyone, and welcome to our third and final KBIS Insights webinar. Thank you for joining me today as we look at how to get the most out of your KBIS experience by getting some insider tips regarding the show. And thank you, of course, to Becco for sponsoring all three webinars, which has been a great service, I think, to all of our members. As always, Becco has been such a supportive partner of the NKBA. You know, three days may seem like a lot of time to walk KBIS, January 31st through February 2nd, but it isn't, especially if you're going to travel between halls at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I know it because I've done it lots of times, and I can tell you that your Fitbit will likely burn out trying to capture all your steps. So to make sure you're as efficient with your time and your steps as possible, we've asked several KBIS veterans to give us their insights into how to get the most out of your time at the show. And now let me bring on someone who has been a great friend of the NKBA, helping us produce KBIS and making it the most successful Kitchen and Bath show in the world. Amy Hornby, Associate Show Director for KBIS. Hello, Amy. Hi, Susie. I'm happy to be here. Getting excited for the show. Oh, I'm so happy you're here with us. And you are someone that knows a lot about our show. Yeah. And we're only eight weeks away. 2023 is going to be another standout year for us. Registration is pacing on track, if not higher, than even the pre-pandemic years. Our floor is nearly sold out, and we have more events and activities than ever before. I'll say again that three days just doesn't seem like enough time to do it all. But before I get too carried away, let me ask you first, Amy, what are you looking forward to the most at KBiz 2023? You know, if I had to narrow it down, I think I would say I'm looking most forward to being back in Las Vegas. I mean, I can't believe it's been almost three years since we've been in Vegas. That's crazy because it was KBIS 2020. And um, I was on a recent site visit in Las Vegas for KBIS. And honestly, like I was just really blown away by the sheer size and scope of the campus with the new addition of the West Hall. It's impressive. Um, and we have the new Resorts World and the LBCC Loop and the Tesla Ride, you know, to get everybody around the campus easily. Um, I'm just really excited about being there. And <laughs> this may sound silly, but um, when I was there, I also discovered uh, Siegel's Bagel Mania and Pink Box Donuts uh, right by the West Hall. And it was just, it, it's awesome. They have the most fun little donuts. So overall, just really excited to be in Las Vegas. They have really good bagels, too. I went there. <laughs> I need to get a I, I, Me, too. I agree with you. That's a very exciting part about it. And I'm actually going um, week after next uh, for okay. my last site visit. So I'm very excited. Um, so now I'd like you to imagine that you're a new exhibitor at KBIS for the first time. What are your insider tips for them? Even maybe give us a couple of your do's and don'ts, because... New exhibitors make out about make up about 25% of 2023's total exhibitors. Right, which is a lot. So um, <laughs> so one of my insider tips is to get a donut at Paint Box Donuts. Um, no, kidding. But um, in seriousness, you know, I think exhibitors, um, they just need to be mindful that 
we're going to, it's really important to have visibility points outside of your booth, both pre-show and on site, because we get about 40% and we're tracking right now to have about 40% new attendees. But even aside from that, you know, this new campus layout is going to be 100% new to all attendees. So they're going to be getting there, trying to figure out their way around. And then, um, you know, exhibitors need to be in their promotions telling their customers which hall they're in. Um, and just like I said, having visibility points outside of the booth space. I mean, we work hard to get all the attendees at the show, but they really need to be mindful about how they're going to attract them to their booth once the attendees are there. We have a lot of free marketing things that exhibitors can take advantage of. Um, it's all on kbiz.com, but we have an invites code that they can use to invite their customers. It gives them a free expo only pass. They can download the KBiz official logo and put it in their promotions. They can press uh, do press releases on the digital press room. So, you know, th there's also obviously marketing items they can do for even as low as $1,000. That's that best of KBiz entry, which is a great thing to be a part of um, if you're new or a past exhibitor at KBiz. But, um, you know, overall, they just need to really be thinking about getting the most out of their investment at the show with different visibility points just, you know, around their booth and before the show also. You know, that's great information because there is a lot provided for them if they take advantage of it. Yes. So be sure to take advantage of it. I think about, you know, every one thing I love about KBIS is everybody can be a star, you know, even the breakout people. A couple of years ago, maybe it was 2020, um, a company that had not even shipped a product yet, but they were ready to, new design, won best of KBIS. I mean, amazing what can happen and every great product has a shot you know yeah. um that's right whether it's a best of KBIS winner or a 30s winner both of those are prestigious awards to win and they're always announced on the next stage speaking of the next stage what are your some of your can't miss programming events if you had to advise a first timer what they should see well, as you know, there's a lot of great NKBA programming on the next stage. Um, Pam McNally, you know, every morning, the 30 under 30 intros and the 30 choice awards. Um, we have 10 hot new topics on the stage as well. It'll be in a panel format, but their topics are on wellness, uh, business and sustainability. Um, new this year, we have the KBiz Disruptor Series, which is essentially learning for those who are kind of disrupting the industry. Um, we have Judeline Cassidy. She's an activist and founder of Tools and Tierras. Um, and also some breakout reach at, uh, research by Amazon that'll be presented as part of that series on the stage. So, you know, all of that's exciting. Uh, we always have Design Bites, which we think is, you know, can't miss Design Bites. It's um, 10 innovative new products talked about on the stage. It's kind of in a speed dating format but it always draws the crowds. Um, we have the Best of Cavis Awards, the Kickstarter Awards, the Best Booth Awards that I think you and I are actually presenting. Um, you know, and, and then we'll actually, actually also have a few celebrity surprises on the stage. So that'll be fun. And um, you can follow Cavis Social Spaces for all those announcements. We have all kinds of surprises gonna happen this year. <laughs> you know, in between it being the 60th, birthday of NKBA and the 10th anniversary of Design and Construction Week. And there's so many reasons to celebrate and everybody being back together in full force. It's going to be something else. So I'm going to add in my two cents here. Um, Voices of the Industry, which offers nearly 80 learning courses that can be viewed in person or on demand, which is wonderful. I think that's a must attend program. And my personal favorite, The Bash, uh, which is NKBA's breakout party that gives everyone the opportunity to kind of relax and have some fun and dance a lot. You have to experience those things as a first timer. So any other advice for either new attendees or exhibitors and don't hold back? Okay. Well, um, you know, I think it's going to be important just for both exhibitors and attendees just to take a few minutes before the show and familiarize ourselves with the overall layout and the show schedule. I mean, essentially do a little homework. Um, you can view the KBIS floor plan and the overall layout on kbiz.com. Um, on site, we have the DCW map. We, you can download the KBIS show app to help with navigation, identifying show features, um, finding the NKBA booth, and, and just all the exhibitor listings. But 
I think that, and I just think it's important. Everybody's busy in their booth if you're an exhibitor, but just try to be mindful to take some time, walk around the show, you know, look at the Cavis next stage, even if you can't stay for all the sessions, you know, see the DMM lounge, both in North Hall, go to the New West Hall, you know, if you're not exhibiting over there, see it, see the outdoor pavilion. That's the hall we also share with Builder Show. A lot of our large appliance brands are going to be over there, but um. As you said, definitely go to the bash, you know, have fun, dance, network. I mean, I think just essentially go all in, you know, take on the full KBiz experience. I like that advice. <laughs> there's, there's so much to experience, you know, and we've got so many shows this year. They're going to be going consecutively at the same time. Uh, the hardware show, the national hardware show, which will be in the South Hall. We have uh, surfaces, tile and surfaces expo down at Mandalay Bay. We have the Las Vegas market that's open, just so much to do. And I think it's just going to be the best experience. Amy, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to join me for this KBIS webinar. No surprise to me that you have great insight. Uh, you've been a major part of our show for a long time. And I really appreciate you taking your time today to be a part of this. Oh, I was excited to do it. It's good to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on site at the show on the floor. Well, I can't wait to see you either. Thank <laughs> you, Amy. Okay. Thank you, Susie. So now let me bring on Florence Von Pillay, Director of Operations for Modanus Media, and someone who has organized and, de and as detailed as they come. I mean, she and I were just in Germany this past fall on the NKBA tour with a group of designers. And I can say she just kept us all on our toes. I was very grateful to have her with us. I know she'll be able to give us some great insider's tips on attending KBIS. Hey, Flo, how are you? I am well, Susie. Thank you so much for having me here with you today. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me and share some of your knowledge. I figure as someone who's been coming to KBIS for over 10 years, and helping to set up the DMM Talks Lounge, you must have some great suggestions on how to get the most out of the show. For example, if I'm attending KBIS for the first time, what advice would you give me? That's a great question, Susie. I know there's so much to do and see at KBIS. So my advice would be to develop your own personal itinerary. It's almost like planning a visit to Disney World, except all things kitchen and bath. Uh, you can check out a full list of exhibitors on cabus.com and see the entire schedule, the Cabus Next Stage schedule, and more. Um, so I think it's really great to pencil in your must-see exhibitors, panels, and networking events, and leave some time to explore new brands. Ah, pretty smart. But that's why I'm having you here with me today. <laughs> so tell me about the events and activities that in your point of view should be on any designer's list when they go to the show. These are things that they just shouldn't miss. Again, there are so many events and activities to participate in, but I'll list six or seven of my, my top recommendations. Uh, first things first, I always recommend attending the NKBA Industry Awards and Opening Party. Uh, this is a great way to kick off KBIS and celebrate the NKBA's 2023 professional design comp winners. Um, and the party itself is so glamorous and amazing. Um, beyond that, I always recommend the CAVES Uncorked Influencer event. This annual event, which this year is being hosted by Signature Kitchen Suite, welcomes over 100 influencers to celebrate and enjoy each other and an engaging panel that always includes really exciting guests and, of course, Emerald Expositions' Brian Pagel. It is invite only, but you can always request an invitation. Uh, beyond that, I would always recommend the CABA's Next Stage. I mean, it's dubbed next for a reason. Uh, the stage hosts over 20 thought-provoking presentations and panels, as well as awards programs. And it is the perfect place to be inspired, informed, and energized. Uh, my next best uh, piece of advice would be to visit the DMM lounge panel discussions. Uh, this is the Design Mill by Modena Stocks Lounge. It's near and dear to my heart, of course. Uh, but this lounge features really engaging presentations and conversations around design business, 
social media, trends, brand talks, and more. Uh, beyond that, you cannot miss the NKBA Bash. This is where the industry all comes together to celebrate. Make sure you have your dancing shoes on because you'll be on the dance floor the entire night. And I guess my last piece would be to certainly go to the DCW Closing Concert, which it was just recently announced that will feature Cheryl Crow. So I'm super excited. Yeah, there's a lot of really exciting. And of course, we'll be celebrating NKBA's 60th birthday and the 10th anniversary of Design and Construction Week. So it's gonna be a really big show. And Flo, since you've been on the exhibitor side, uh, helping set up the DMM Talks Lounge, any advice for our first time exhibitors that right now we have about 80 first time ex exhibitors, which I think is pretty incredible. What advice would you give them? That's amazing. I'm so excited to hear about that. Um, my advice is really simple. First of all, rest up and stay hydrate, hydrated because you're going to see a ton of foot traffic. Um, and the next thing I would do is try to get involved or participate in any show activations. Whether you're attending or participating, this is a really great way to leverage your brand visibility and also network and build relationships. Uh is really good advice. Don't don't just stand in your booth. You know, get out there among them and meet people and network and make friends. Um, people buy from people, right? Absolutely. So now, what about you personally? I I know that you've got to have some of your own favorite things to do at KBIS. You know, either a booth to visit or an event to attend or a program to listen to. This is your own personal can't miss roster when you're not working, if you will. So it's always fun for me to explore the show floor and see some of these amazing vignettes from uh, exhibitors, you know, from Monogram to Kohler, also to smaller brands like Thompson Traders. There's so much to see in terms of product and vignettes that will uh, inspire you. Um, I love visiting uh, the NKBA Global Connect Pavilion. Um, this is a really great place to explore new international brands that are kind of toe dipping their way into Cabas and also features a stage that has really interesting international focused topics. Uh, beyond that, at the DMM Talks Lounge, we always host an influencer breakfast. I love this um, event. It features the leading industry experts who can show you how to boost your business, your social media. Uh, with a really delicious breakfast. A uh, great way to kick off the day at Cabas. Uh, one must-see thing for me is always Design Bites. It's a panel hosted on the Cabas Next Stage, and this features close to 10 brands who share their product and story in, in roughly three to five minutes. And what I love about it is it gives attendees and designers the ability to check out a wide variety of brands and one setting and a quick and really engaging environment. Um, and of course, I can never miss the bash, the NKBA bash. There is no party like it. Uh, and it's, for me, one of my favorite things to attend uh, during the show. I think it's a lot of people's favorite flow. You know, there's a couple of things on your list that um, in years past, sometimes I missed, but I'm going to have to explore them this year while I'm at KBIS. You have been super insightful, and I appreciate your honest and obviously experienced viewpoint that you shared. I'm sure it's been helpful to everybody that's listening, and I'm sure that our viewers that are new to KBIS have a much better idea to plan for. So thank you, Flo, and I look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Thank you so much, Susie. Look forward to seeing you all there. All right, great. Isn't she great? For those of you who don't know, Flo is the daughter of Veronica Miller, founder and CEO of Modanus Media, quite the talented family. Now, on to our next guest, someone who is near and dear to me, who is a longtime friend and associate, and someone who I had the honor of helping build to induct into the NKBA Hall of Fame at last year's KBIS in Orlando. Zach Elkin is the president of Beko USA and a veteran KB KBIS attendee. If anyone can give the inside scoop on attending and showing a KBIS, other than myself, of course, it's definitely Zach. Hello there, Zach. Welcome. Susie, it's great to see you again. Uh, 
I know that you probably have your hands full right now with all the move and getting ready for the show. And it's just been such a great year and it's just terrific to see you again. Well, thank you. Here we are again, Zach, gearing up for yet another KBIS. Uh, I always think of the time between show, shows, it just flies so fast. I mean, it's and we're already thinking about 2024. I mean, this time between when the show ends and the next show starts, just as a whirlwind. But this time, we're back in Las Vegas, where, as you know, we haven't been since 2019. I'm really excited about that. And I would love to hear from you what you're looking forward to at the show this year. But yeah, I just love the show. It's it's it it kind of you know it's like a kid in a candy story. I mean, it's it's like Christmas. It's it's probably the most exciting time of the year from an industry perspective. Um, you know, I've got a phrase I use. I probably wear it out. It's, it's friend raising. And and when I look at KBiz and I look at uh, construction and design week, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's 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 not only a chance to catch up with. I don't want to say old friends, although I guess maybe they are. A, a chance to catch up with old friends, but it's 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 a great opportunity to make new ones and and to uh, and just to see everybody in person. You know, last couple of years we really haven't had that opportunity, and, and certainly got better last year. But I'm really looking forward to uh, being face to face in Las Vegas again. And we know the show typically pulls much better in Las Vegas than it does in other markets. So there's not a better place, not a better platform, not a better audience for us than the stage uh, that we get to participate in uh, called Kitchen and Bath. It's just, it's, just, it's just an exciting time for us uh, well, from a brand I, perspective. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, I, I believe that's 100% true. On top of that, I really am grateful as the association, and I'm sure our members are for your support, your unending support, Zach. Uh, you, Becco, just it, you're always there for us, and that's great. You know, uh, you and I are on the same page. We're, we're looking forward to many of the same things because when you think about it, between the two of us, we have a lot of great memories over the years with KBIS events and just little moments at KBIS that stand out. You know, one of the memories that stands out the most for me, I, th I think about this every, every once in a while. In fact, I actually have a picture on my phone. When we made the decision back in 2013 to co-locate with uh, the Builder Show to create Design and Construction Week, um, it was a it was a risk. We were doing we did a show in May and then we turned around and was we were doing another one in January. And I was like, "Is the market gonna like this?" And I remember standing up on the balcony. It was in Las Vegas, standing up on the balcony in the Central Concourse and looking down and seeing it looked like an ant farm down there. There were so many people and I took a picture of it. And that is one of my, one of my favorite moments of KBIS. I think the other is when I would take, when I was still working in the industry, every time I had a new salesperson that was really into it, I would take them to KBIS and to watch their face when they walked in and saw the size and scope was an amazing thing. So what's a memory or two that you have from KBIS that stands out and it's something, a couple of somethings, one something that you will never forget? I mean, there's so many. I mean, there really are so many, uh, you know, uh, with uh, four decades of uh, experience with, within the industry. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, we, it's just been terrific. I remember, I mean, 2016 was very special. That was the 100th anniversary of Thermidor. Uh, I want to say 2019 uh, was extremely special uh, as a new and emerging brand that we were bringing to the market. We won Best Booth, uh, which was really unheard of, you know, for, for, for a small new and emerging brand. I mean, uh, I mean, clearly, uh, I mean, to be honest, I mean, last year was extremely special. Uh, it was the first time that my uh, wife had ever attended a show with me and my oldest son was there also. And of course, uh, I was just very honored and very humbled, of course, uh, to be inducted into the uh, a Hall of Fame for NKBA along the, uh, you know, along with, you know, the founders of Thermidor and, and just many other, uh, you know, visionaries and leaders. So, uh, you know, last year, of course, will be uh, extremely special from a personal perspective. But, you know, I got to say every year uh, there's something that special that happens. And, and, I, and you don't always know what that's going to be. It could be uh, uh, 
reacquaintance with a, a long lost friend or client that you've lost touch with. It could be a, a huge business opportunity that just comes in into the booth that uh, you know you, you weren't aware of. Uh, so I mean, it's it's, it's every year is special. But if, if I had to just say one thing, it's what makes it special. It's the other people that attend. It's the opportunity to catch up with uh, lifelong friends and business partners from across the country and to make new ones. And, and, and to me, that's really what makes this a really special week. Well, thank you for sharing that. You know, what you say, Zach, is exactly why you're so well thought of. For you, it's all about the people. Uh, and that's that's a very important thing. There's, we've had so many great times and so many great experiences, and I'll be forever grateful for them. Oh, now, me, me too. Moving on to, to a more business end of it, you've been uh, showing at KBIS for quite some time as an exhibitor with several different brands, which gives you a great perspective. I'm sure you have some advice for first-time exhibitors to get the most out of their experience. What would you say to a first-time brand? Uh, any particular do or don't? Well, the first thing I would say is you don't know what you don't know. And you need to reach out to veterans that are attending to try to get their perspective and do it with more than one or two people, if you will. So you get much more of a cross-functional look. And you have to have an agenda. If you don't have an agenda, it's easy to get to get lost. There's just so much to do. And there's not enough hours in the days to get it all done. So from my perspective, that first time attendee is look hard at the different types of opportunities. Take advantage of the many opportunities, not just the before the, the, the booths open uh, and, 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 and after they close. I mean, there's events in the morning. There's events during the show. There's events after hours that are all very, very important. The booth is just a part, a, a part of it. Clearly, it's a big part for us because it's a great stage for us uh, and an opportunity uh, for us to uh, to bring forth just you know our our new products from an MPI perspective. So selfishly, that's very important to us. But there's more things. I guess it's there's as many impactful things before the show opens and the floor opens and after it closes. So. Uh, just, I guess you just got to do a really good job of time management and, and, and have a plan, have a plan. Because, you know, a lot of the builders and designers, they come to the show, why? Uh, maybe they have a problem to solve. Uh, maybe they're looking for some type of information from an educational standpoint on an emerging issue that they'd like to uh, address and, and have a better insight into. But they're also looking for new ideas. So, you know, when, when you approach this, it's got to be very holistic. It's the entire environment, the entire experience. It's just not walking the floor. Okay, so what about somebody who's attending the show for the first time? Any tips you'd like to share with them to make their time more productive? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, just like you're going to prepare an agenda, what you know? why are you going? What are your pain points? What do you want to learn? Are there some educational needs? It's very, very similar. Are there some things that you want to learn? Are there people you want to see? Set your appointments. Call and set up an appointment with those uh, either vendors, companies, or committees that you want to have the opportunity to interact with. I think that's probably critical uh, if, to, to get the most out of it because, as you know, from the, you, you made a comment in your opening remarks about when you get somebody new to the industry, you, you, you love walking them into the show because their eyes get this big because they're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's overwhelming. So I think by having that agenda, by having those preset appointments, uh, I, I think that's going to make it a much more uh, productive show for you and more enjoyable. And take advantage of the many social uh, networking opportunities that are at the show. There are just so many. And what's so great about our industry, as you know, is there's just so many people that want to help other people. There's so many different people that from a mentor perspective, I mean, yeah. look what you do, do with 30 under 30. I mean, you know, it's no different from the people that are 30 under 30 going to the show. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just a huge opportunity to not only understand what's going on in the industry, but to network, to meet new people uh, and to see new ideas. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just a great week. <laughs> it, it is. 
I look, uh, I, people laugh about the fact that I always say it's my KBIS. KBIS is like my Christmas, but you know, the well, you other, and I share that. No, you and I share that. That's oh, well, how that's I explain cool. it to people. You know, when I, when you talk, I, I remember the first time I went to the show, not, not when I took people, but the first time I went, when I left and went to the show, I didn't know where I was going. Of course, I just was going to a show and I knew I had a job when I left, but when I came home, I knew I had a career because wow. I saw that it was a much bigger world and that I was part of a community and that there were just a plethora of opportunities for me. And so I always tell people when you go to KBIS, you know, you got a job. And when you come home, you can tell you have a career um, because that really was that moment. Well, Zach, it looks like we're running out of time here. So I want to say thank you for joining me today and taking your time out of your very busy schedule. As always, um, again, it's a great pleasure talking with you and can't thank you and Becco enough for your loyalty and your support to the association and the show. Thanks so much for being here. Susie, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. And I can't wait to uh, catch up with you at the opening, uh, at the opening party, but also seeing you in the booth and on the floor uh, during uh, our Christmas, right? Which That's will right. Uh, be KBiz. KBiz in Vegas. It doesn't get That's better. Right. Doesn't get better. Parts. Thanks. Thank you very much. You know, he's just the most gracious and lovely person, and he's also so knowledgeable about our industry. I always learn something when I'm with him. Well, that about wraps it up for our third and final KBIS Insights webinar. I really hope that you all gained some useful information from today and our previous KBIS webinars. I think if you're new to KBIS, these webinars are a must because they shed light on key events like NKBA's Design and Industry Awards on Monday, January 30th, the Design and Construction Week opening celebration on Tuesday at LVCC in the morning and the bash on Wednesday, February 1st at Excess Nightclub at the Encore Hotel. And they also give insight to key programming on the next stage or by attending CEU sessions at the Voices from the Industry. And of course, NKBA's very own State of the Association and State of the Industry on Wednesday, February 1st. I'd say all of these are must-attend events. It looks like I'm running out of time, but before I go again, I'd like to thank Becco for being our sponsor of our KBIS Insights webinars and for helping us bring all of this information to our members. And I want to thank all of you for joining me today and being a supporter of the NKBA. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. Also, thanks to everyone that participated on these webinars. I couldn't have done it without you. Have a wonderful holiday season, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in person at KBIS in Las Vegas in only eight weeks. Bye for now.